tropical storm Hagibis has been named by the Japanese Meteorological Agency this morning, local time, 8 a.m. Shimoro Standard Time. It was at 13.5 north, 156.3 degrees east, with estimated winds by us 45 miles per hour, pressure 995 millibars. CDPS looks at the island of Sarigan in the northern Mariana Islands on October 7th for a potential landfall. Stage 5 on the CDPS. The storm is likely to be strengthening at that point and up to 12 inches of rain could fall over that island or neighbouring islands in the chain. Here's the storm's current position. Um, as stated, 13.5 north, 156.3 east, now a tropical storm heading towards the west with a slight southward element in it at the moment as well. And that puts the storm 721 miles from Saipan at this time, 724 from Tinian, 747 from Rota, 770 from Yigo on Guam, and 779 from Hagatna, also on the island of Guam. The uh, watches and warnings remain the same. A typhoon watch remains in effect for just the one island, Alamagan, and a tropical storm watch remains in effect for all of the other islands on the chain except for Guam itself that's as far south as Tinian under a tropical storm watch. Looking at the rainfall expectations over the next seven days you can see how the storm progresses quite clearly the track is shown by the pink area which is over three inches of rainfall and that will quite clearly fall over many of those islands maybe not all of them though um, so looking towards Guam might get away with less than three inches of rain you can just about make it out there on the edge of the pink outline near the bottom um, but most of those islands are going to get a lot of rainfall from this storm uh, because it is becoming more apparent that it's probably going to get some intensity around it and size by the time it gets there. Here's the current sea surface temperatures, around 28 or 29 degrees Celsius ahead of the storm, so certainly very warm. Um, not quite as warm as maybe they could be, uh, but still very warm and significant potential for this storm to reach major typhoon status. As a matter of fact, 100% of 12Z models, the latest model runs, um, are predicting a Category 4 at least out of this, and 50% of them are calling for a Category 5. I don't think I've ever seen the model so confident on an extremely powerful storm like that. GFS is one of them calling for a high-end Category 4 here, moving off towards the northwest. Many ensemble members of the GFS calling for a Category 5 too. Look how large it gets late on in that model run as well as it heads towards Japan, and it could be serious there um, by the time it gets there, but that's still very far out. Right now, it's probably best to look at this. 70% chance of tropical storm force winds in Saipan, 64% at Tinian, 27% at Rota, 13% at Guam, and now 19 at, on the Daito Islands of Japan. That's in the next five days. Looking at what the models are saying, we've got all them laid out on the screen here. Now, uh, a lot of the models are calling for Category 5 based on the pressure estimates. Um, quite often these models go a little bit low on the wind speed, particularly the GFS. HWRF calling for mid-range Category 4, however, which is interesting. Sea surface temperatures still around 29 or 30 degrees according to the models. Relative humidity is very good. Um, prime conditions, whichever way you look at this, for the next three to five days at least. So here is how the storm has actually been looking in the last six hours or so, um, overnight hours into the morning local time. And you can see it is fairly broad, uh, the rotation is increasing and you can see I think it will be the northwestern side there that is going to become the dominant feature in this storm and where we may see the formation of an eye eventually. I'm not sold that that area to the southeast there, that clear area is anything to do with what might become a future eye. I think it's going to be further towards the northwest, but we'll keep you up to date with more on this storm throughout the day. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.